Hello guys, Zandri here and welcome to a brand new speed test comparison between Realme 7 and the Redmi Note 8 Pro. First of all, uh, we'll clear all the applications which are running in the background. Uh, okay. Now let's reboot both these devices at the same time. On the Realme devices, you have to hold it for a little bit longer. Reboot. Let's restart both the devices at the same time and let's see which one boots up faster. By the way, Realme 7 comes with the latest MediaTek G95 processor, whereas Redmi Note 8 Pro comes with MediaTek G90T processor, which was launched last year. I mean, uh, I'm saying it was launched last year and the processor is last generation processor, but actually G90T processor is very strong even now. G95 feels like a very slight minor upgrade to G90T. In this video, we'll figure out whether opening applications or anything is faster on Redmi Note 8 Pro or the Realme 7 at least in the reboot test. Redmi Note 8 Pro was clearly faster as compared to Realme 7. Oh my god, how much? Okay, it took almost 5-6 seconds more to start everything. And as you can see, nothing is running in the background because you guys always worry about that. We are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Realme connected to the Wi-Fi network just now. Uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro had connected to Wi-Fi very fast. Uh, aeroplane mode is turned on and location services are turned on as well. Now. Let's start with Twitter application. Redmi Note 8 Pro was slightly faster as compared to Realme 7. Let's try Facebook. Uh, this time Realme 7 was slightly faster as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. And yes, Akshay Kumar sir is going to launch 4G. I mean, yeah, okay, let's see uh, the game will, I mean, okay, let's not talk about the game itself. Let's talk about the Instagram application, okay. Uh, Every single time I try to open the Instagram application, this is how it opens on the Realme 7 for some reason. Uh, on the Redmi Note 8 Pro, it was pretty much smoother, but Realme 7 was faster to open the application. I hate that Instagram added this reel button instead of the search button. I, I mean, I wish there was a way to disable that. Now let's open Play Store application. Uh, this time, once again, uh, Realme 7 was faster as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. Let's try DRM Info app. Uh, Realme 7 was faster and as you can see Wideband L1 certification is present on both these devices but do they support full HD resolution in prime video application? Let's find that out. Let's go into my stuff, settings, stream and download quality and streaming quality. As you can see best on Realme 7 is 1.82 GB per hour whereas best on Redmi Note 8 Pro is still 0.46 GB per hour. It's disappointing that after months of launch of Redmi Note 8 Pro still it doesn't support full HD resolution on the Prime video application. Let's try Netflix application. Now let's see whether full HD resolution is supported on Netflix, at least on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. If you guys have followed my other speed test comparison videos, then you already know that yes, uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro supports full HD resolution on Netflix application and uh, Realme 7 also supports that. Uh, the difference in brightness is because of the this brightness. The, don't worry, the display quality on Redmi Note 8 Pro is great as well. It's not like Realme 7 ka display bohati zada better. Hai. Now let's try speed test application. Let's see which one connects to the server faster. Log on uh, Realme 7 was faster and uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro connected to a different server. So let's connect to the same one. Let's try the speed test now. As you already know, I have a stable 50 Mbps up and down connection, but I am getting 80, 90, 100 Mbps of connection. Let's see whether there are any major differences between both these devices. If the difference is between uh, 2 to 5 Mbps, we are going to ignore that because the speed keeps on fluctuating between that. If we take average of these three tests, then uh, it's obvious that uh, there is not much of difference. So both of them performed really good. Now let's open Solid File Explorer application and we are going to unzip a 600 file zip. So we started at the same time. So basically this zip file has various uh, documents like DOC files, uh, Excel files, image files, video files, 600 files. And this time, once again, Realme 7 was faster as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now, uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro obviously has another chance to gain the lead. By using Kind Master application, we are going to render a video. We have copied the same file on both these devices. So open, let's open a new project, 16 by 9. We are going to select that file. Now we are going to select export. 720p 30fps, 720p 30fps. And the bitrate is going to be the highest possible, 13.23 and let's hit export and let's see which one completes this test faster. Considering G90T and G95 are very close to each other when it comes to specifications, so I'm not expecting there to be a much of a difference, but it seems as if Redmi Note 8 Pro has a lead as compared to Realme 7. 
that's kind of surprising maybe it's down to software optimization and which device performs better now as these videos are getting exported i'll talk about the other features that these devices have to offer first of all both these devices have a headphone jack usb type c port and 90 hertz lcd display is present on the realme 7 whereas redmi note 8 pro comes with 60 hertz uh, LCD display and that's a big advantage for Realme 7 as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. Not just that but Realme 7 also comes with Sony IMX682 sensor. If I had to choose one device between both these devices then I would go with Realme 7 because G95 processor even though it is not performing as good as G90 somehow in export quality but when it comes to day-to-day uh, -day life usage and heating it's better as compared to G90T. I mean the device does not become warm whereas G90T I'm, I'm sure it is warm right now. We'll measure the temperature at the end of this speed test. Uh, there is an ad. Okay, so G90T and the Redmi Note 8 Pro completed the export long back actually and the uh, Realme 7 will complete it right now, I guess. And uh, Realme 7 completed the test right now. Let's go back. Let's go to home. Let's try, let's open Chrome application and we are going to open a page on Microsoft's website and Redmi Note 8 Pro was able to open it faster as compared to Realme 7. Now let's open Flipkart application. Once again, Redmi Note 8 Pro was faster as compared to Realme 7. Uh, now these are some of the games. Yes, we are going to open Free Fire because who knows, we may have to shift to it. Realme 7 was faster to open the game as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now let's go back. Let's go to home. Let's try Asphalt 9. So Redmi Note 8 Pro was faster to open the game as compared to Realme 7. Let's go back. Let's try PUBG Mobile game. I know this game is banned but we had installed them earlier. So uh, the game still works fine as the servers are still running. And let's see which one opens it faster just in case in future you're confused between Realme 7 and Redmi Note 8 Pro. <laughs> by the way, Redmi Note 8 Pro has smooth and extreme option by default whereas uh, Realme 7 is limited to smooth and ultra. But when it comes to opening the game, as you can see, Realme 7 was faster as compared to Redmi Note 8 Pro. Uh, I'll just close everything. And if we go into settings and then graphics, as you can see, smooth can go up to extreme on the Redmi Note 8 Pro, but smooth can go up to ultra only on the Realme 7. Let's go back. Let's try Call of Duty game. This is the last game that we are going to open. And uh, I guess that we have a clear winner this time. Redmi Note 8 Pro was able to open more applications faster as compared to Realme 7. And uh, uh, at least Call of Duty Mobile was opened faster on the Realme 7. And uh, I guess that concludes the test. Let's try multitasking round, starting with Twitter application, which is in memory on the Realme 7 as well as on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. I, I mean, I'm not really sure. Let's try Facebook app. Obviously, Facebook app will be reloaded. Let's try Instagram. It's in memory on the Realme 7, whereas it's being reloaded on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. That's surprising. Is Redmi Note 8 Pro going to reload all the applications? No, Play Store was in memory, but Realme 7 reloaded that application. DRM Info is not in memory on both these devices, but Realme 7 was slightly faster. Prime Video application. Oh, is in memory on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. It should be in memory on the Re Realme 7 as well. Where Where is this? Okay, I guess Prime Video application has glitched out. So I'll just close it. Let's go back. Netflix app is being reloaded on both these devices. I'll tell you one thing that both these devices are 8 GB RAM variants. I'll show that to you as well. Uh, when it comes to speed test application, it is in memory on the Realme 7. I'm sure it's on memory on the Redmi Note 8 Pro as well. Uh, Solid File Explorer was opened faster on the Realme 7. Kind Master application was opened faster uh, on none of these devices almost at the same time chrome application is in memory flipkart is being reloaded and both of them were very close but realme 7 was slightly faster uh free fire application game will be reloaded i guess on both these devices yeah is being reloaded on both the devices and i guess once again realme 7 will be faster to open the application as compared to redmi note 8 pro and yes that's the case Realme 7 was faster. So if you play Free Fire, then uh, Realme 7 is going to be faster to open the game at least. Asphalt 9 is not in memory on both these devices, surprisingly. Let's see which one gets to the home screen first because last time Redmi Note 8 Pro was the faster one. Okay, I guess I spoke too soon. Uh, it's not really the case. Redmi Note 8 Pro may not be the clear winner <laughs> in this particular speed test. Okay, let's go on the home and Redmi Note 8 Pro is still processing it. Okay. It opened it right now. Let's try PUBG Mobile. I guess it should be in memory 
it's in memory on the realme 7 but it's being reloaded on the redmi note 8 pro so i guess it's clear when it comes to opening the applications for the first time redmi note 8 pro had a slight lead as compared to realme 7 because some of the applications were opened faster and uh, when it comes to video rendering redmi note 8 pro was faster but when it comes to opening the applications from memory realme 7 was definitely better optimized and better at it as compared to redmi note 8 pro when it comes to call of duty game once again it's in memory on the realme 7 but it is not in memory on the redmi note 8 pro that's quite surprising let me just show you about phone of both these devices about phone as you can see 8 gb of ram on the realme 7 and uh, if i open this about phone all specs 8 gb of ram on the redmi note 8 pro even after having 8 gb of ram i feel like realme ui 1.0 performed better as compared to mi ui 12 and if you're thinking that redmi note 8 pro is an old device and that's why it performed bad you need to perform a factory set then let me tell you one thing we updated the device to mi ui 12 and then we did a factory reset and that's why the occupied storage is only 25.6 because we installed only these applications and then we did this particular test and in that test i'm going to say realme 7 won by a very slight margin considering it was able to keep more applications running in the background and uh, it was able to open them faster as compared to redmi note 8 pro but when it comes to first opening app test you saw that redmi note 8 pro had a slight lead and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video so which device should you go for if you're confused between both these i feel like realme 7 will be a better choice considering it comes with 90 hertz lcd display a better camera setup and a better charging solution as compared to redmi note 8 pro redmi note 8 pro's successor redmi note 9 pro is already in the market redmi note 9 pro and note 9 pro max so if you are confused between both these devices then i think realme 7 will be a better deal for you as compared to redmi note 8 pro but again flash sales of realme 7 and it will be very difficult for you to buy so <laughs> And I guess that's pretty much it for this particular video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll be more than happy to answer your queries. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, then get subscribed and press the bell icon so that you get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.